Hi guys and welcome to Florida Day. One. You and I till the end. If you're new here, I'm Corey. And this I'm Brianna. Brianna. And we are heading to Magic Kingdom this morning and we're excited to have a super, super fun filled day. It is bright and early. What time is it? 7.19. So it is 7.19. We are out ready. I had my alarm set for 6 a.m. this morning. So we are headed to Magic Kingdom right now. We're gonna grab some coffee at Star Dollar, Starbucks, Corey calls. I love Starbucks, Starbucks Star, Star, Dollar. Star Dollar, like bucks for dollar. I probably didn't have to explain, but I just feel like it makes I can sense. I can easily say that our viewers are <laughs> Are pretty intelligent. Are pretty intelligent. So you probably got it. <laughs> so if you're excited for Magic Kingdom today, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on that post notification bell so you never miss one of our Disney videos. But without further ado, let's head to Magic Kingdom. The fall decorations here are so nice. So nice. Like they are so 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 cute. So I every time I just want to stand and just can you admire that that's what we get to look like or lot look like. That's I wish what I we get like to that. look like. Wow. But look at <laughs> at the end of the street. So it is just so amazing. I love coming to Magic Kingdom really early in the morning. But of course the most important rope drop of the entire day is Starbucks. So we're gonna go grab some iced coffee. I'm probably gonna get an iced chai just to start off the morning right. And I just love Magic Kingdom. I mean, I feel like every time I come here, this is what my face does. For just like, smiles. Like yeah. three hours until it can't anymore. Right. Starbucks line's always so long, but And we just I, saw an engagement. And we just saw an engagement. That was really, really sweet. But I wanna wait in this line anyway because I wanna see if they have one of the been there, Magic Kingdom 50th mug. So we just took some beautiful photos in front of the castle. This absolutely lovely lady saw me and Corey struggling with the self timer. So she was like, do you want me to take some photos of you so I can insert some on the screen? But they were, they came out really, really good. I'm really happy with how they came out. So because we are staying at a Disney resort, you can get into the park and enter the rides in Magic Kingdom for Fantasyland and Tomorrowland a half hour early. So we just scanned both of our magic bands and now we are walking into Fantasyland because we are gonna ride Peter Pan's flight. The background's a little different and that's because we're not riding Peter Pan and we're riding. It's a small one. Because Peter Pan ended up jumping to like a 60 minute wait and I said, Corey, totally up to you. Do you want to do 45, maybe 60 minutes this morning for Peter Pan during early park entry or do you want to do It's a Small World and try to get on something else? And Corey said, it's Small World. So now we're gonna ride it's a small, what is the thing? Yeah, it's, it's a, a small world. world. Oh, oh, I don't know the exact word. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or I think it's like, it's a world of laughter, a world of tears. Da, 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 da. Joy in a world of tears. Well, you know what? We'll just take you on the ride. So here we go. I feel like it's your favorite thing in all Magic Literally, Kingdom. Literally, it's front time real There's estate There's like here. beautiful rides and like the castle where he's like, oh, the, the Tangled, tangled bathrooms. bathrooms. We're gonna go ride Suckers. the wildest ride. In the wilderness. We 
we don't know where the last time we were here, but we think it was the last time you saw us was Big Thunder, and yeah. now we are in Philhar Magic. What? Which we love because it's air conditioned. Aircon. I love that it's 3D. 3D. And I love the new Coco edition. And these are a vibe. We are gonna go and ride. Well, not ride, I guess sit and watch. To you, this is a ride magic. somehow. Well, okay. Shows because, to Brianna are No, 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 rides. it is a show. But I think because it's electronic, like, you know what I mean? It's not in person. Maybe that's why I think it's a ride because when, we, a when we do the show Lion King, that's a show. All right, people, another comment in the comments. Yeah, comment down below. Is comment Still Magic a ride or, or is Still More Magic more a show? So I don't know. It is represent. a show, but it's like a ride show. It's a show. It's a show ride. We are now going to have lunch at a place that we have not been since 2017 because it was closed and then no uh, COVID 2018 and 2018 so we are going to Columbia Harbor House full lunch review coming soon because I have heard nothing but amazing things we loved it when we went last we time yeah. so now we're gonna head over and eat lunch at Columbia Harbor House and then after that we have Buzz Lightyear Lightning Lane, Space Lightning Lane, and then we're gonna head back and do some swimming You're because nice, nice the beautiful, swimming. beautiful, beautiful day, but I think we both need I need a cool off. Yeah. I'm cool ready off to like nice. dunk in the pool and read my book and you like just get to a point where recharge. you just feel sticky and you're like, I need a refresh. One hundred percent. Guess where we are? Yeah. Columbia yeah. Harbor House. So we got a ton of food. Let me show you what we got. I got I think it's like a fried fish sandwich with slaw and I think tartar sauce or their own homemade kind of like aioli. And then it comes with a side of fries. Corey got the trio, which came with what? Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders, fried fish, and fried shrimp. Okay, and you got that with a side of fries. What is that? Cocktail sauce that they gave you? This is cocktail sauce for the shrimp, tartar sauce. Nice. Ketchup, barbecue, honey mustard, empty belly. Empty belly, and of course, DC. a DC. And we got a bottle of water too. Why don't you try try one of the maybe shrimp or fish? And we can see how it is. It's real. Oh, fried yeah, fish is really good. The breading is nice. The breading doesn't fall off. Yep. It has a good crunch to it. The fish is cooked. It's not dry. Yeah. Good. My only downfall is they have not put the sandwich in like that size of a container. Oh. How am I gonna put this back? I think their philosophy is it gets smaller as you eat it, so it'll fit. Is it good? It looks it. Oh my god, that's better than my sorry piece of a lobster roll from the boathouse last night, and that was $33, and this is 15 Lunch was so, so good. good. Like, I really did. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Like, it was really, really good. I think for my overall rating, I will give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'll give it an 8, yeah. My bread was kind of falling apart, so that's taking a little bit of, like, knocking off points, and I wish that they would have put the slaw down then the three pieces of fish because the slaw was like in the middle of like three pieces that were like layered kind of weird so it was falling out but the taste was like amazing so there's like a few little tweaks but it was the, was the just, taste was amazing mine was just very good fried food i mean i thought it was yeah, absolutely lovely really but then it's like fried food can only take you so much so that's just why mine's made it was yeah but it was really good so now we are in Tomorrowland, which I'm so excited about because we are going on Buzz Lightyear first and then Space Mountain. And I am going to try my best to beat Corey if you've been here for the last year and a half. No, no, you no, no, know no, no, that no. I try, but I never succeed. No. Yeah, you shouldn't be worried about beating me. You should be worried about getting more than 10,000 points. I'm like so bad at Buzz Lightyear, so we're going to see. Comment down below who you think is going to win, me or Corey. And then we're going to ride Space Mountain. We rode Space, we rode Buzz Lightyear, and I lost. Space was fun, Buzz Lightyear was fun, and it is a little bit warm. And we had planned this afternoon to take a nice dip in the pool and relax, mm -hmm. shower, refresh, so that is exactly what we're gonna do now. Yeah. So we're gonna go back to the resort, take a nice swim, relax, and I'll so probably take a nice nap. Yeah, it's definitely, it's hot, but it's not humid, which I think is really, really nice. So we're enjoying the day, and now we're gonna go take a nice dip in the pool. We are back. And, and guess what? Showered. We have changed and showered. <laughs> showered, changed, swam, and got a Put microwave on the, in the best room. shirt ever. Yeah, I absolutely love Corey's shirt. He got this from mm. Shop mm. Disney. It's a, like a 
50th anniversary edition one. I don't even. I am totally gonna it. wear this in public as well. Yeah. So watch the out. The minute bro. that they put it online, I bought it. Like we bought it. Honestly, instantly. I was I was thrilled with this yeah. purchase. Well, because you look so handsome, let's do a little outfit of the night. All right. So this guy is wearing top from Shop Disney, shorts from where? J Crew. J Crew and Adidas Swift Adidas runs. Swift runs. And then for Brianna, she is wearing. What is the shirt? Fantasy Feelings t-shirt. Shorts are from Primark. Shoes are Adidas. All right, well, we're gonna go now. We have a restaurant reservation at Tony's. I don't know what the noise is. They're announcing for. our They're presence announcing of royalty. Presence. Hello. Hola, everyone. Hi, everyone. So Let's go to Tony's for dinner. <laughs> We have made it into Tony's Town Square. It's a little bit loud, but it looks amazing. I got for a drink, of course, a Diet Coke with lemon. And Corey got this Italian beer that he's drinking called a Peroni, so that's what he's drinking. And we got the garlic bread and the toy box salad, so let me show you. Here's the garlic bread. Oh my God, that looks absolutely amazing. And then in here is a cheese fondue, I believe. And then this is the toy box burrata salad, so big pieces of tomato pulled burrata, basil, pesto, and it looks absolutely amazing. All right, Brianna, pour that sauce. All right, Corey's trying the garlic bread. Is it really good? Wow. Yeah? But then there's a nice crunch from the crust here. Yeah. Wow. Cheers to Tony. So good. I think like 9.5 out of 10. So good. Corey is trying the boxed toy box salad. Very refreshing. It's your standard burrata. And, and tomatoes. I feel like you can't really mess that up. You can't mess that up and you can't like over the top it. So, right. But I mean, it's very good. Just yeah. Now we have, both Brianna and I just received the shrimp scampi. We have it beautifully made in this beautiful presented tin can here. This crostini was on top of it, so I just removed it. Then we have a nice little nice little arugula salad on top of it as well, so. And that there's potatoes in there, don't forget. Oh, there's so, potatoes in here? It's pesto. Oh, would you look at that? There's a potato in there. Amazing. All right, now it's my turn to try. So, just tried the potato, 10 out of 10 they were really really soft on the outside super crispy oh no they were really really soft on the inside super crispy on the outside and that arugula gives it that little bitterness which was amazing so now i'm going to try the shrimp however instead of a little bit of everything i'm just going to take a piece of shrimp because i want to see how ultimately that's cooked wow I would definitely say the shrimp scampi for me is perfect because I don't like hot. I know Corey wants red pepper flakes, but I like it this temperature. So for me, this it is needs, great. And I think if you're looking for even a little something extra, eating the shrimp with the arugula gives it like that nice bite. So delicious. We are here to report back on Tony's. I think it was so good. I do. I think that the garlic bread with that fonduta parmesan cheese was oh my God. Im amazing. I the toy box that salad. They sell those by the bag. By the bag, yeah. I think the toy box salad was super, super refreshing. Very good. Very light and perfect because you don't really get that kind of a something. I feel like in many of the parks, and I just feel like it was light and fresh. My overall Tony's rating is a nine out of ten. I agree. And I'm only knocking points because I feel like it would just it wasn't perfect. So I think I know why I'm gonna take just a few points off and now I remember. I liked my dish, however, I wish that the crostini was thinner. It was so hard to that like was a bite big guy. onto yes, it. I agree. So that's probably what I would have done I just agree. instead. Other than that, it was nine out of ten. Delicious. Thought it was absolutely amazing and we'll definitely be going back. So we have a lightning lane, so we're gonna now go scan in for Arr. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> hard easy. So we just finished up Pirates and we decided to come to the Sunshine Tree Terrace to get Dole Whips. So I always get the orange Dole Whip with vanilla ice cream, something that tastes like a creamsicle. And Corey got something new today. I got the orange Phantom Float with the orange Dole Whip. I can't wait. Yeah, so why don't you try that? I'm just gonna eat the tongue. So good. You just probably have to wait a little while to get into that. I have to wait a little while, but let me tell you, this orange Dole Whip, though, mm. So good.
we're in front of the castle, and that's because we have a lot of updates. So, after Dole Whip, as you just saw before this, we saw the fireworks. Then, after fireworks, we ended up going and riding Jungle Cruise. And now we're here, in front of the beautiful castle, just ready to... Go to sleep. Go to sleep, because <laughs> we are so tired. Leave it to this girl to, while we're leaving, snag a bucket of popcorn. Because she definitely needs to be eating this directly right now before bed. It's like what? 10.30? 10.30 at night. I just, we walked by and I had Honestly, in true fashion of your mother, you just need something salty around this time anyway, so it's good. As you can see, we are all snuggled up with the friends here, ready to go to bed to close out this vlog. All right, Corey, what were your top three things of the day? My top three things of the day. Dinner was absolutely spectacular. The pool part yeah. portion, that was absolutely spectacular. The fact that it was absolutely sunny gorgeous all day. So my top three favorites, favorites are, one was the weather, just in general, it was a beautiful mm -hmm. sunny day. My second was the pool break because it was super, super hot. My third favorite was honestly both my outfits today. Like I enjoyed mm -hmm. just my big t-shirt and if we both got to have a fourth, I think it should just be overall Space Mountain. Ah. Uh, Cause it was so fun. So we were screaming and laughing and it was amazing. So that is going to conclude day one at Magic Kingdom on our Walt Disney World vacation. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for the day. We are so excited for it the rest of the week but we are exhausted and absolutely shattered and ready for bed. We will see you tomorrow, and that's it. We'll to see you tomorrow. Turn it off.